Yo guys, what's up? So we're back, and in this tutorial we are gonna learn how to edit some code in your Android phone. So in this tutorial we are going to edit LG Setup Wizard, which if you have an LG phone, that's the wizard when you first install a new ROM on your phone. It says welcome, click continue, and set up your email, Facebook, Twitter, and all that stuff. So we're gonna edit what it says in the ROM. So we're gonna put it the APK into place APK, APK here for modern, which mine's there, APK wizard, I mean not APK wizard, LG sub wizard, so we're going to decompile it, you want to first set the file for it, so I have multiple files there, click 2, now you want to decompile it with 9, click enter, now it's decompiled, LG setup wizard, now the res file has most of the files in there, and the strings and oh, I opened it in Dreamweaver. Oops. Edit and Notepad plus plus plus. If you don't have Notepad plus plus plus, just go download it. It's a free software. It's good for editing code because it has the little text lighting and stuff on it. So in this case, we're gonna edit. Welcome to Jonai Centrum. We're gonna make it. YouTube ROM demo. Okay. See if there's anything else we want to do. Let's make it subscribe to my channel for new ROM updates instead of having thank you. Subscribe for subscribe to my channel. Okay. Now that that's done, we want to click save, click the little save button, or just push control S to save the file. Okay, click X. And the public, I did it in Dreamweaver again. You need to change the default file for it, but. And the public file has all the, the ID is like the file name for it. If you used to Linux or something, it's like the exe file. If you launch Firefox, it launches Firefox at the EXE. If you launch, and if you try to click next, it will push that ID file to it. So, it's kind of hard to explain, but if you get it, you get it. So now we want to recompile it to, to affect the changes in the ROM. So type in 11, enter. We will build it. Is this system application? Yes, it is. Like why? Aside from signatures, would you like to copy over any additional file that didn't modify from the original AP server to ensure at least the amount of number of errors? Click yes. Click enter. Now it's recompiled. Now you have to sign it. So click twelve. Now it's signed. So back to there. It's signed. Copy it. Now go back to the original ROM that you downloaded from whatever site you were on. Download the ROM from. Go to your ROM file folder and go right back to where you got the ROM from. In this case, we got it from system application. So copy it back there. Now you want to delete the old ROM that was there, which is LG Setup Wizard. I don't know if it's still here, is it? LG Setup Wizard is still there. So delete it. Go back to the other ROM. Rename it to to the original ROM name. I mean, not to the original ROM name. To the original APK name. Click Enter. And yeah, if you edit... Oh, I exit out of the wrong event. But if you edit a a code that's in the system application, you have to re-sign all of these applications. So you have to put them all into pretty much APK Manager, decompile it, and then you have to re-sign them all, every single one of them, because of the uh, because the person who first made the ROM has has his keys in there, and uh, and unless he used the same program as you to sign it, the keys are different, and your phone will not boot. It will just have forced closes on everything pretty much. So keep in mind that you have to re, re sign it all. So when it's done doing that, you want to get all the files in the ROM. 
and ignore the zip file that's there. If you have 7-zip, whatever you use to make archives, add it to the archive. Make sure it's zip. Um, I'll rename it because there's already one file there, so it will compress it. All right. Now we have the ROM here. You can open it to make sure it has it correctly. Okay, it's all there. The signatures are there. It's signed. And now, if you want to put this on your phone, you go to your custom recovery mode in your phone. If you don't have a custom recovery, you should look it up a tutorial on, on your phone because each phone is different to install custom recovery. So when you get the custom recovery, most likely there will be a setting that will say flash, flash new ROM. So you want to click there. I mean, well, you know, whatever your ROM, your custom recovery is like. So you want to go to that option. When you get to the option, you want to find the file where it's at. And you just click flash, and it will flash it. And if it says verification, couldn't verify whatever, just, just um, click on toggle verification. When you click that, it will not verify. It will just bypass verification. It will flash around to the phone. The next tutorial, we will cover making a custom ROM from Nandroid. Which is a backup for for your custom ROMs. I mean, not custom ROMs for custom recoveries. So that should be fun. Subscribe to see it. Like this video. Thumbs up. Comment. Post a video response. Peace.